Thank you for tuning in today to hear about the state of our county. It's hard to believe that already I'm in the second year of my second term as your county executive. What a five years it has been. As I think back over the past five years, I'm struck by two things. First, when it comes to Erie County government, I am proud of what my administration has been able to accomplish, even as we look forward to the progress still to come. And second, it's remarkable to see how much our entire community has changed in just five short years. Sometimes, as we go about our daily lives, going to work, taking the children to school, running errands, it's easy to be unaware of what's happening in our greater community. But take a minute and join me in really thinking back to where we were even just five years ago and compare that to where we are today. Just those few years ago, our region was feeling frozen. Not frozen as in the snow and ice outside, we're used to that, but frozen as in frustrated, stymied, stuck. Stuck in the patterns of the past and struggling at the mercy of present day forces that were seemingly out of our control. Now fast forward five years. Today, we have a new outlook, buoyed by the collective efforts of businesses, nonprofits, and yes, local and county government. We have millions of dollars in new investments reshaping our communities and bringing the promise of new jobs. We have energy brought by startups and entrepreneurs. And in the background of all of this are our blueprints for success, guiding documents like our Emerge 2040 Regional Plan, our Municipal Comprehensive Plans, and our Neighborhood Level Plans. So our county has seen remarkable progress over the past five years, and I would say we are poised for even greater success ahead. We are at the cusp of reaching our full potential as a region. And I'm so proud to say that Erie County government has been at the heart of many of these changes, both small and large. In your homes, Erie County has aimed to be a resource for your family, particularly the most vulnerable among us. Maybe it's your uncle, a veteran who is looking for assistance and accessing his military benefits. The Erie County Department of Veterans Affairs, with its newer, more customer-friendly office, is always ready to be a resource to those who so bravely served our country. Or maybe it's your sister, who, like too many of our friends and neighbors, struggle with addiction. Her life might be saved by the naloxone that Erie County Drug and Alcohol has been helping to get into the hands of first responders and she might be guided into treatment by the warm handoffs the county government has helped to implement at area hospitals, helping her to return to a vibrant life. In a slightly broader role in your neighborhood, Erie County is committed to creating a safe, welcoming space for your family to thrive. To that end, the Erie County Land Bank formed in 2018 and took its first steps in its effort to tackle blight to identify dilapidated, abandoned homes and buildings, and to work to get them either restored or removed. And again, on a slightly larger scale, in your community, Erie County government has been a presence, often unseen in your life. When you go to a restaurant, you can dine with peace of mind knowing that the Erie County Department of Health has already been there to ensure that food safety standards are being met. When you go to the beach, you can know that the water is safe for either your family or your pet because of testing done by the health department. And now tracking those conditions is even easier thanks to an online map updated daily during the warm weather that the health department unveiled in 2018. When you face the worst times, emergencies or other frightening situations, you can count on an Erie County Department of Public Safety dispatcher to be the calm voice at the other end of the line and to connect you to the first responders who will come to your aid. Even now, a years long, years long project is coming to fruition that will help make those dispatches even more effective. The county's next generation public safety radio system will be fully operational within the next few weeks, bringing all of our police, firefighters, EMTs, and emergency management agencies into one common frequency, solving a decades long problem and better protecting both our first responders at the public and the public at large at a time when minutes and even seconds count. 
And finally, when you think about your city, township, or borough, you should know that Erie County Department of Planning and Community Development is working every day as a partner with your municipal officials. In fact, that role serving as a resource on any number of efforts from transportation to stormwater management to sustainability led to a change in the department's name in 2018. The new name with the addition of community development offers a more accurate picture of the full scope of work that the department does in our communities. But Erie County government's role is even broader than your family, your neighborhood, or your local community. It serves the whole county and by extension, the entire Northwest Pennsylvania region. That means your county government focuses on economic development in our region in ways both seen and unseen. Perhaps one of the most visible roles Erie County has taken on in this area is through the Erie County Public Library's Idea Lab. The Idea Lab, which opened in fall of 2017, quickly found its footing as a hub for all dreamers and do-it-yourselfers, and most importantly, for budding entrepreneurs who need just a nudge or a little help in getting their future business off the ground. The Idea Lab has even joined with other entrepreneurial support organizations by hosting the Co-Starters Program, a nine-week course that teaches the ins and outs of starting and running a business. Erie County also has been a key player at the table of other economic de development initiatives, including spearheading the ChooseErie.com portal a one-stop shop for those looking to bring businesses to our county. That portal, which just went live a few weeks ago, will now be overseen by the Erie Regional Chamber and Growth Partnership and will serve as one more tool to help businesses grow, expand, and thrive in Erie County. And what's more, the Choose Erie Portal has at its heart an innovative and cutting-edge asset that sets Erie County apart from others and ahead of its peers across the country. The Erie County Data Center, which operates out of the county's Department of Planning and Community Development, provides a wealth of vital information that business owners and site selectors are looking for. That includes things like available properties, infrastructure, amenities and incentives, as well as a deeper look at the region's workforce and an evaluation of its industries. So as you can see, Erie County government is playing a key role in so many developments around the region. And make no mistake, these developments are indicating progress, and they are sure signs that we are moving in the right direction. But one of the things that I hear too often as I travel to various places around our county is that people are not recognizing the signs of our evolution. They aren't yet feeling the effects, and they aren't clearly seeing the vibrant new Erie County that so many of us have envisioned and are beginning to see. They aren't seeing it, so they aren't believing it. But I want to assure you that this lively and dynamic Erie County of the future is not a pipe dream. It's real, it's possible, and it is happening right now. I know it will take time to convince Erie County citizens that we are finally headed in the right direction. After all, we've been burned before. We've been tempted by progress, only to see it fall apart. We've been teased by the prospects of new businesses and new jobs, only to see plans change. We've seen community efforts torn apart by infighting or ineptitude. So it's understandable when people scoff about this period of progress. They say, what makes this time any different? Well, I say plenty. First, there's action behind our plans. Too many times in the past, we've made plans, paid for plans, only to let those plans and their recommendations sit on a shelf collecting dust. Not this time. This time, we have been smarter about our plans and have included real, defined strategies for implementing them. This began with a community-wide destination Erie planning process that was launched in 2012. The process culminated in Emerge 2040, the long-range master plan for Erie County. That plan has clearly defined goals and recommendations as the building blocks to create the thriving Erie County that we envision. Emerge 2040, it turns out, was just the first step. Since then, we have seen the creation and implementation of municipal level plans. You might have heard about the City of Erie's Erie Refocus Plan, Mill Creek Townships Embrace Mill Creek Plan, and Summit Townships Securing Summit's Success Plan. 
There are plans underway currently in Albion and Green Township and various other communities, including Venango and Union Townships, who have new zoning ordinances. Many other municipalities have expressed interest in working with Erie County, as well to make sure that they are thoughtfully and carefully planning for their future vision. In addition, we're seeing neighborhoods hone in ever deeper, presenting detailed plans for smaller areas like our West Bayfront. All these plans, which were undertaken with support and guidance from county government, also contain real strategies for implementation, meaning they too are showing definite signs of progress. Another thing that makes this new wave of progress more promising is that we are finally, finally collaborating and cooperating. Your municipal and county governments are collaborating with each other and with other organizations both for-profit and non-profit, throughout our community. These partnerships are so essential. Not only do they help us to pool our resources, they also are a sign that we are all rowing in the same direction, so to speak. Even Harrisburg has noticed and commented on the one voice that we are bringing to our request for funding. With these collaborative approaches, I am confident that we will find success this time, that we will achieve our goals. It's important for you to know this and important for me as your county executive to keep you apprised of where we stand and where we are going as a region so that you too can see it and you too can believe it. To that end, I'm going to give you a peek at 10 things you can expect to see from Erie County Government in 2019. So here we go. Number one, the Blue Zones Project in Cory. The City of Cory will begin to see a transformation in the community as the Blue Zones Project launches. For those who haven't heard of the Blue Zones Project, allow me to take a moment to give you just a quick description of the program. Blue Zones are five places in the world, as determined by a National Geographic study, where people live the longest. And not only are they living into their 90s and sometimes well into their 100s, they're living well. They are still active and engaged at those ages. So researchers decided to study those five communities and they identified some characteristics that people in those five places have in common. Now they are taking that research into other communities to help those residents live happier, healthier lives. The city of Cory is now one of those communities. It's one of about 50 Blue Zone communities across this nation. And except for two communities in Florida, Cory is the first in the eastern United States. And here, what's also great about the Blue Zones Project, and one of my favorite parts. The citizens of Cory are given the power to determine how the program will work in their community. Maybe it will mean better, safer spaces for walking or outdoor activities. Maybe it will mean affordable, accessible, healthy foods. Maybe it will mean establishing stronger social connections through clubs and faith communities. It's all up to the residents of Cory and we look forward to seeing how their project takes shape in 2019 and how it hopefully can lead to taking this effort countywide. Number two, Public Safety Recruitment Committee. Even as our next generation public safety radio system comes to full fruition in the coming weeks, our Erie County Public Safety staff is hard at work addressing another pressing need for our first responders, the decline in staffing for firefighters and emergency medical staff. This is a struggle for municipalities statewide. In fact, a report from the Pennsylvania legislature released in November stated the situation pretty bluntly. It said, fire and EMS are in a state of crisis because of a lack of funding and a decline in membership. So in Erie County, we're facing that challenge head on. And again, we turn to collaboration. Public safety put together a coalition of first responders and elected leaders to identify the problem and work toward finding feasible solutions. Their work is just beginning, so watch for their progress over the course of 2019. So number three, community development. As I mentioned earlier, the Erie County Department of Planning has added community development to its name in recognition of its really broader role in our lives. So what is community development? It speaks to our quality of life, how we can make our community a place where people want to live and work, to play, and to stay. 
In the coming year, you can expect to see the Department of Planning and Community Development continue to work on improving our communities, including through the Parks, Trails, and Recreation Plan that's currently in progress. Last year, we sought feedback from you, the residents of Erie County, to find out what you wanted from our public spaces. From that input, we're putting together a countywide park, trails, and recreation plan that will help to prioritize projects and then direct the funding to improve and create the public spaces that our citizens say they want. And like the other plans that we've tackled recently, this plan will have real steps for implementation. Consider it just another layer to that big blueprint we are following as we work to create the vibrant county we envision. Number four, Blasco Library Teen Space. You probably heard me say this before, but it bears repeating. Our libraries are not the libraries of yesterday. Sure, our libraries still have books, stacks and stacks of them, but today's libraries are more about connections than just collections. Today's libraries are our modern-day town squares. They are gathering places replete with cutting-edge ed technology and community connections. This is true not just of our anchor library, Blasco, but also of our four branch libraries in Edinburgh, Fairview, Mill Creek, and Lawrence Park. In 2019, in the coming days, actually, you'll be able to see this idea really come into focus in a unique way at Blasco. The library is set to debut its teen space, which creates that vital gathering place just for our county's young people. This will be a haven for teenagers, giving them their own central location for dreaming and doing, creating and collaborating. It builds on the foundation of the Blasco Idea Lab, tailoring those resources to these young citizens. And that brings me to number five, the Idea Lab. I know I already mentioned a bit about what the Idea Lab has accomplished in its first full year of existence, but there's so much going on that it's worth mentioning here, as there is much to look forward to in its second year. The Idea Lab is quickly maturing and will continue to grow into its role as a player in our entrepreneurial ecosystem. In 2019, the Idea Lab will more fully embrace its role in the Northwestern Pennsylvania Innovation Beehive Network. The Beehive Network unites our local universities and the Erie County Public Library in a joint effort to help foster entrepreneurship. Each university plays a particular role, offering unique services to a would-be entrepreneur. But at the heart of it all, at the start of it all, is the Idea Lab, which will be the first stop for a creator or future business owner. The Idea Lab is the feeder system for the overall Beehive Network and welcomes anyone and everyone in Erie County to explore the possibility of starting a business, whether you're making a product or offering a service. In late 2018, the Idea Lab was awarded $200,000 for its Beehive initiatives from the Erie County Gaming Revenue Authority, matched by funds from the Friends of the Library and the Erie Regional Library Foundation. With these funds in place, the Idea Lab is poised to get a new jolt in 2019 with new programs, new services, and new equipment coming that will give an even bigger boost to businesses, both new businesses and existing small businesses. We can't wait to see what these new classes and initiatives will spark and how they will create more opportunities for our Erie County citizens. And speaking of opportunities for our residents, let's talk about number six, the proposed Erie County Community College. As many of you know, Erie County has signed on to be the sponsor of a local community college. Our application is still under review by the State Board of Education, and we remain hopeful that this opportunity will be given to Erie County residents. We know the need is there. We hear from our schools, which are looking to offer their young people alternatives to traditional four-year universities. We hear from our business owners, who are facing the real challenge of having experienced aging workers on the verge of retirement and few trained employees to replace them, and we hear it from our citizens. Those who want to pursue higher education but can't afford the cost, those non-traditional college students who are looking to have more flexible coursework, or those workers who are seeking additional training and certifications that will help them be more competitive. We remain committed to securing opportunities for all of them, and we are optimistic that we will have progress on our proposal in 2019. 
And this brings us to number seven, broadband. My administration for the past year has been researching ways in which we can ensure that all Erie County residents have accessible, affordable broadband service. And we've been convening meetings that bring together diverse and often competitive parties to see how we can make this happen. We know how vital high-speed internet is to our daily lives. In 2019, it's not a perk or a bonus. It's a key service that should be considered just as important as electricity once was. Our children need it to do their schoolwork, our employers need it to run their businesses, and we all need it to connect to friends and family both far and near. In the coming year, we'll be working to bring new opportunities for high-speed internet to all corners of our county. Stay tuned. Speaking of technology, let's move on to number eight, county improvements. We've been focusing our attention on some internal operations too, and we're going to be unveiling those to the public in 2019. First, we are bringing county government's job applications into the 21st century. Soon you'll be able to apply for county jobs online. Of course, you're always welcome to bring your application to the courthouse, but this way you'll have more options and a more convenient way to get your application to the county's Human Resources Department. In addition, we'll be rolling out a new look for the Erie County website, www.eriecountypa.gov. We've been working to create a site that's easier to navigate and that truly speaks to what you, the citizens, want to find on the county website. Watch for that to be coming in 2019 also. Number nine brings us to more internal county government operations. That is, to our ongoing commitment to good governance. Now let's be honest, this is one that might be hard for you to notice. After all, it's only when something is broken or not working that you pay attention. How often have you been driving down the road and thought, wow, my car is riding so smoothly today? No, more often we pay attention when something's wrong, when we hear an odd sound or see smoke coming from under the hood. But I'd like you to know how committed my administration is to making sure that we are all being good stewards of your taxpayer money, and that it's a commitment that I assure you will continue in 2019. Back in my first term, I vowed to create an efficient, effective, and transparent county government one that will be a model county. Every day, we're working to do just that. We have prioritized sound fiscal practices that have led to high bond ratings and a healthy $31 million fund balance. Or, if you want to think of this in a more familiar term, we have an excellent credit rating and a robust savings account. Thanks to those efforts, we've been able to return money every year to our general fund to the tune of over $7 million over the past three years. You can expect that to continue in 2019. And finally, number 10. You will see Erie County government's commitment to collaboration continue. And as I've discussed here with you, that spans all manners of operation. You'll see the county working with the Erie Regional Chamber and Growth Partnership, the Erie County Redevelopment Authority, the City of Erie, and others to continue to enhance our new data center. You'll see us work with area employers to offer a sixth year of our successful Summer Jobs and More program, which has set hundreds of young people onto the path of future employment. You'll see your Erie County government as a willing partner for initiatives and programs in every corner of the county, willing to lend a hand and truly serve our citizens, to be the partner you need and the ally that you deserve. After all, we are here to serve you, to serve the people of Erie County, and it's only by working together, by rowing together in the same direction, that we will finally get where we need to be and where we deserve to be. That we will finally reach that vibrant and revitalized Erie County we've been talking about and envisioning. Can you see it yet? Are you willing to believe it? Are you ready to participate in making it happen? Because that's what we need of you. We need you to believe in this moment and to believe that Erie County is truly on the cusp of achieving this vision for the future. This can only happen if we collectively engage in making it happen. We all need to believe in Erie County, to believe our friends and neighbors, and to believe that together we can and will transform this community that we are so proud to call home. Thank you.